the king of instruments. In this series, Geraint Jones, world-famous organist and conductor, introduces you to some of the more rare and interesting organs to be found in the British Isles. In this programme, the BBC takes you to Blandford Forum, Dorset, to meet Geraint Jones. The organ in the parish church at Blandford Forum in Dorset is one of the best examples of the work of George Pike England. He was the most distinguished member of a family who practiced the craft of organ building from about 1750 until well into the second decade of the 19th century. The fine case bears the legend G.P. England, London, Fetchit, 1794. The organ was given to the Blandford Church by King George III and came from the Savoy Chapel, where it is said it had to be returned for repairs after falling off the cart on its journey from London. It has been very little altered since its installation, though it is unfortunately no longer on the west gallery of the church, but in an organ chamber which was specially made for it when the chancel of the church was added in 1896. The action is tracker, and it has three manuals and a single pedal stop probably added when the organ was moved into the chancel. The great organ consists of stopped and open diapasons, a gamba, which doubtless at some time replaced a mixture, principal, twelfth, fifteenth, mixture, cornet and trumpet. The choir is made up of a dulciana, stopped diapason, four-foot flute, principal and fifteenth, and the swell boasts a sixteen-foot borden, open and stop diapasons, principal, mixture, oboe, and trumpet. My first piece on this instrument is a so-called cornet voluntary by William Walland, who was born about 1725 and died in 1770 at Oxford, where he seems to have spent most of his life. Voluntaries displaying the cornet stop were one of the favorite war horses of 18th century English organists, and this is one of the best specimens of its kind as is also the cornet stop here at Blandford. The voluntary has a slow introduction played on the great diapason and principal, and the quick section follows. In this, the great cornet is contrasted with the choir organ.
now follows a short gavotte by Samuel Wesley, displaying the eight and four foot registers of the choir organ. Finally, another 18th century voluntary, this time by Maurice Green. As before, there are two sections, slow on the great diapason and quick on the full flue chorus of the great organ.
You have been listening to a program in the series The King of Instruments, introduced by Geraint Jones. It was recorded at Blandford Forum, Dorset, by the BBC Transcription Service.